We, we got Gianni and we have Reagan and they're going to show you how and Gianni, they're both at, they're both at school and they're on a lunch break. We're going to say a lunch break and Gianni was at River Kids. Now this is role play. So we're going to pretend like Reagan doesn't go to church. He goes to school. Gianni goes. And so Gianni's at lunch break and Reagan's his friend. So he's going to do what we just taught you. Is that okay? So my wife is going to hold the mic over here and I'll hold the mic over here. And, or you want to hold it? You can hold it. Do you want to hold it? Okay. Just make sure you make sure you guys hold them close to your mouth. And okay. So now they're at lunch break. They're in school. Here we go. All right. Has anyone ever told you that God loves you as a willful plan for your life? Yeah, maybe. Probably like my aunt or somebody. No, oh, that's great. <laughs> but I have a great. I have a quick question for you. If you were to die today, would you know if you'd go to heaven? Yeah, totally. Uh, so, if so, the Bible tells us that all of sin is to obey God's word. It also tells us that the price of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, and this includes you. Now, I'm going to say a quick prayer for you. What's your name? Reagan. All right, okay. Lord bless Reagan and his family, and with long and healthy life, you make yourself real to him, and do a quick work in his heart. If he has not received Jesus as his Lord and Savior, I pray he'll do so now. Reagan, would you like to see the gift that God has for you today? Yes, sir. It, okay. So say this after me, with your heart and lips out loud. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive me my sin. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me. Wash me. Set me uh, cleanse me. Cleanse me. Set me free. Set me free. Change me. Change me. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you that you died for me. Thank you that you died for me. I believe that you're risen from from the dead. I believe that you are risen from the dead. And that you're coming back again for me. And you're coming back again for me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me a heart to reach the lost. Give me a heart to reach the lost. And a holy boldness. And a holy boldness. To preach the gospel. To preach the gospel. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. And I'm on my way to heaven. And I'm on my way. Because I have Jesus in my heart. Because I have Jesus in my heart. Amen. Amen. Now all your sins are forgiven. Run to God, not from Him, because He loves you. It's a wonderful plan for your life. And guess what? There's a ch on Sunday. There's a church nearby your your house, and you can come with me. We could go. Yeah, totally. Also, what's for lunch? Um, I guess cheetahs. Hold on, stay here, stay. Here. All right, they did a good job. I want to do one more thing. I'm going to get them just to read the first part again. And uh, because people can either say no or yes. So when he says yes, let's find out why. So just do it one more time. Just the front part, yeah. right right there. All right. We, if you were to die today, would you know if you go to heaven? Yeah. Um, so why would you say yes? Because I'm a good person and I don't beat people up. That means <laughs> I'm going to go to heaven, right? <laughs> good thing you don't beat people up, but the Bible tells us that all of sin and disobey God's word. Oh, okay. Well, I have disobeyed, so. Yeah. Okay, so when he said, would you go to heaven? He said, yeah, I'm a good person. I don't beat people up, okay? So that was funny. But uh, so, and then the, because the Bible says the gospel is the power of God, when you read the bottom part of that script, that's the gospel. Can we give both these guys a hand? They did a great job. Come on. And Reagan, I am so excited you're on your way to heaven now. This is really good day. Wait till I tell your parents. No, I'm just joking with him. You know, Pastor Ray and Charnay are, of course, his mom and dad. So, and thank you.